So welcome back everyone, my name is Echo and I hope you're having an absolutely fantastic day. We're back with a brand new update for Pixel Gun 3D. This is the Pixel Gun 3D 21.7 update. It is available now for Android and coming to iOS in the next couple of days. This is the Mecha season. Check out the brand new background. There is so much going on. I know they've introduced helicopters to the free play mode. Fingers crossed they introduced them to Battle Royale if they haven't already. I like it. I like the background going on here. I'm not gonna lie. Alrighty, let's go over all the details. It says magma flows in our veins, healing our hearts. New. Complete Battle Pass rework. Okay, new interface, new tasks, and more. New season, which is the Mecha season. Check all systems and get into the combat Mecha. It says, new mode, plant the bomb. The most anticipated mode in Pixel Gun 3D history. If you play Call of Duty, it's just search and destroy. I believe it's not available yet. It will be available when iOS has released. Secret Mecha Prototype Arsenal. Initializing Annihilation Protocol. Ready for destruction. Military Supply Bundle. Soldier Get Ready for Action. Mecha Engineer Van. New Map Orbital Complex. Free Play. Helicopters have arrived. And it also says uh, there's been several new zones in New Block Cisco. Improvements, tournament fixes and enhancements, minor interface rework and other improvements. Kind of curious, does anybody out there actively play free play? And of course, two matches of VIP and 40 coins. Take them. It's free. You know, not complaining. Gonna take the free rewards. So before we go through the weapons, stop. Dude, the pop-ups, man. Anybody else get really triggered? Every 24 hours that happens. Yo, it's kind of like a crazy nuke going off in the background. Finally, we can check out the background. Super impressed with the artwork. Let's start off by going to Armory. How on earth do I access the backgrounds now? Oh wait, I forgot I'm also inside the mailbox. If you haven't seen my Battle Royale video, you need to go check it out, man. It's in the mailbox. Get your free currencies too. That's all I wanted to do. I just wanted to show you guys the background in a little bit more detail. Let's go to like a screenshot mode. I wish they would remove the text where it says preview mode so I could take a screenshot of it. Anyway, they do this every season and I kind of like it. Let's start off by checking out the Trader's Van on Android. It is available for five days. This is coming with three different weapons and of course a skin special backup and heavy. Let's start with the backup. This is the Corp Skiller Revolver. This is Backup Mythical, Charge Shot, Wall Break, Slows the Target, Fire Rate 74, Capacity 8, and Mobility 75. We also have a special, the Engineering Saw Thrower, as you do. Special Mythical, Ricochet, Piercing Shot, and Bleeding, Fire Rate 86, Capacity 10, and Mobility 55. And last, but not least, Heavy, Uranium Grenade launcher. Yo, it kind of looks like the nuclear grenade. The gadget. I really like this. Heavy mythical looping shot. Radiation. That's new. Blindness. Fire rate 65, capacity 1, and mobility 50. If you buy all of these, you'll be given the Mecha Engineer skin. I will be checking these out probably in a separate video though. Let's check out the Mecha Season weapons. So, event starts in one day's time. Hopefully, in one day's time, iOS has this update. We have this, which is the Ultrasonic Rifle. Sniper Legendary, Semi-Auto Blindness, and 10x Zoom. Fire Rate 93, Capacity 15, and Mobility 55. It's going to either be the first weapon you get halfway through the season, or the end weapon as a free-to-play player. It's legendary. That's the reason why. Moving on, we have... Electronics Burner, Special Legendary, we have Gadget Block, Disables Jumps, Slows the Target. Can we shoot with these? Oh, we can. Anyone else get like serious one-shot vibes for like a modern one-shot? I get like a serious, uh, yeah, one-shot vibe from this bad boy. Let's check this out. Electronics Burner. Oh, okay. Oh, that's a little bit on the crazy side. 
We've got a bunch of skins, pretty standard. Skin, skin, skin. I actually really like this skin, though. I always get, like, a Transformers vibe from this. We have... Hounds, okay. Information, Hounds, RX-03, backup legendary rockets, automatic area damage, fire rate 96, capacity 24, and mobility 75. Shoot. Okay, kind of laser effect. We've got Dragonfly. I'm, I'm seriously getting Transformers vibes, man. We have System Scorpion. Let's shoot this. Like an RPG style thing. This is Heavy Mythical Super Rocket. What? Super rocket jump, burning, no self damage. This like the new rocket jumping system weapon that they've introduced? They nerfed that though. Why would you nerf it? Take it away and then introduce a weapon. Hmm. Fire rate 76, capacity 6 and mobility 55. Just running through these. Like I said, I think this is going to be either start, medium or end weapon as a free to play player or if you purchase the season. This is legendary, so this could also be the same. These are legendary as well. Mm, okay. Okay. Three legendary weapons. This is either going to be the final weapon you get for completing the season, or it's going to be the elite tier weapon challenge thing. You know what I'm, you know what I'm talking about. We have another skin, Spec Ops uh, Tactical Mech Rumble. This is also mythical, so this could also be one of them. So this is primary, and this is heavy. Okay. So this is primary mythical shotgun. Shotgun. This is the shotgun. This is going to be the elite tier weapon. It's going to be. Primary mythical shotgun. Kill targets. Explode in ammo restore. Fire at 86. Capacity 10 and mobility 75. Shoot. This is 100% going to be like... Oh man, shotguns. You did, there's just no way getting around them. But that's the mecha season. Let's play it. Meet mecha season. Yo, check this guy out. Is that a Minecraft flat world? Electronics burner. Okay, how's? Oh, I like that animation. Oh, look at this guy, bro. <laughs> I can't decide which one I like, but I'll tell you what. I really liked the animations. Uh, we've got lottery as well. Oh my god, there are so many weapons in this update. So you've got skin. We've got siege minigun. Primary mythical minigun damage during reloading. Fire rate 99, capacity 100, and mobility 40. <laughs> That's my, my my kind of weapon, I'm not gonna lie. Uh, let's shoot it. That thing is insane. <laughs> that thing is insane. We have anti-aircraft module. Heavy mythical, multiple shots, area damage, manual guidance. And eh, not a fan of the manual guidance weapons, to be fair. Fire rate 66, capacity 3, and mobility 50. Not a huge fan of manual guidance, but I bet you this one's going to be pretty decent at max level. Of course, again, you've got the, the bunch of skins. Ooh, this looks cool. Sniper. Disruptive. How it's a? How it's a? I, I'm, I'm hoping I'm pronouncing some of these right. Sniper mythical. Infrared imager. Hmm, that's new. Target marking and area damage. Hmm, infrared and, and x-ray somewhat very, very similar. So I'm kind of curious how this one is going to work. Fire rate is 67, capacity 10, and mobility 50. Uh, let's shoot this. Okay, so I can see how it works, and then this. Yo, look what it does. That is like one big shot. Oh, okay, thermal mecha knife. Reminds me of the elite tier challenge weapons from the previous season. It's melee, is it melee? Melee, mythical, di disables jumps, burning, area damage, attack 78, and mobility 85. We've got this one too. All right, let's play the animation. Meet it. Siege minigun. We have the mecha knife. It's more than a knife, that's a blade. Disruptive howitzer. And anti-aircraft modules. All right, so we've already seen the trader's van, and the pass, and the lottery, special set. This is going to be an event set. Now, this starts in one day. This starts in three days. This is available, and this starts in two days' time. Secret mecha prototype. Activate the intelligent robots and go into orbit to attack the creators. Check out that skin, man. Mind blown. We have tactical scorches. This is primary mythical laser burning and weakening. Fire rate 100, capacity 80, and mobility 65. Let's shoot it. Oh, fire my laser beams. We've got Jet Spear. Gotta be a sniper, right? No, melee. Yo, check that bad boy out. Jet Spear, 
Melee mythical rockets pulling towards target and barrier. Fire rate th 70, uh, 37. Capacity 3 and mobility 65. Uh, I, I don't know how I'm going to think. I don't know how I'm going to feel about this. Wait, is that a, me oh, it's a melee that can attach to people? So like the pulling socket and the vertical grip? Hmm. This is sniper. These weapons are getting crazier and crazier, by the way. Sniper mythical laser ricochet. Creates a shield while reloading. Fire rate 68, capacity 6, and mobility 55. What? So while you reload it, it creates a shield. Oh my days. Bubble boy. Step outside. All right, let's play this. Come on. Dude, these things are crazy. I, I, I don't even know what to say. This is like one of the craziest seasons. Like, yo, look at that. Well, Pixar God have done a pretty good job with this update so far. Let's check out a couple other things. So one of the changes the developers said they've done is they've done a slight UI change to the season battle pass. I don't think it's available in this season. It will probably start in the next season, which apparently is in two days time. I thought the season ended a little bit sooner than that. But hey ho, that's what they did. In four days time, you can see the plant bomb game mode begins. Not available yet. But we do have a new map. Orbital Complex, which is a rework of the space station map, so I believe. It is available in Teamfight. It's not available inside of Deathmatch. Don't see it in Battle Royale, of course. Replay, Capture. It's available in Capture. Minigames, Raids, Competitive. Not available in Competitive. And Tournaments. Uh, this uh, I'm not really interested in the Tournaments, I'm not gonna lie. Man, I used to love this map. I actually really liked playing this. This was one of the first maps I played on Pixel Gun 3D. Let's check it out. Random. Um, we got a jetpack on. Let's go. Yo, look at that thing. Oh, that thing is crazy. Yo, there's actually dudes. Oh, the mecha robots are already fighting. Yo, that's really cool. Oh, Earth, Earth's about to explode. Wait. Oh, look at that. That looks like one of the um, things from Clans. Blown up this map. This, this this has been blown up apart. Uh, one thing I can say, right, is that the developers have done an absolute solid job for the past, like, so many maps that they've introduced to the game. They've done some really, really good jobs. So whoever is the map designer for Pixel Gun 3D, you deserve a raise because you've been doing... You, you've done some really good work. Quite impressed. Quite impressed with this map. All right, let's go. Let's go fly. So this is one side. What does that say? What? what, what? Can you stand on here? Okay, can you get on these, though? I'm curious. Oh, you can, but you take damage, like a radiation damage, I'm guessing. Yo, that's actually that's actually pretty cool, but at least you can use it to get from one side of the map to the other. A couple of uh, gravity butt boosters and jumpers. Fall down from over there as well. Warning, low gravity. What does this do? Does it, oh, it zooms me up, right? Let's check. No? Oh, it does. Okay. <laughs> uh, quite impressed. I I'm quite impressed. Um, is, I wonder if there's anywhere else we can get on this map. I wonder if we like. I, I wanna. Can we get over there? I'm gonna use my jetpack and see. I, I mean, I, I feel like I'm not gonna be able to, but I gotta try it at least. Three, two, one, go, jump, go, go. I'm gonna die. Yep. There's a barrier. Yeah. So it's like a radiation barrier by the looks of things, and you'll be, you will be killed. But I like this map. Let's check out where the helicopters are. Helicopters. Finally, they really turn this into like their own little GTA heaven, aren't they? Let's go to respawn uh, Random respawn. Let's go to map. Ah So I see only two helicopters though. I see one that's in lone lighthouse All the way to the left. I wish zooming was a little bit easier on this and one is in airport which makes so much sense There might be one of the ones But maybe they change depending on what map you're playing at a time, but let's uh in fact, yeah, let's let's go find one. A helicopter is here! How do I get in? I just want to get me a helicopter. The broken fence. Let's go. Helicopter! Let's see it. Let's see it. Where is it? Is it on, is it on the roof? I think it might well be on the roof. So let's, uh, let's get off. Go, 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 go. Up. What the, is that a disco? <laughs> There's a disco and then a private helicopter. How do we do this? Tap. Oh, let's go. Up and down. Let's go. This could be 
an interesting... Yo, this is actually really cool. Oh, man, this is going to be so good if they get this in Battle Royale. Does it fire rockets? Nah. Could you imagine, though, if it had, like, rockets on it? Super impressive. Let's... Should we crash it? Let's crash this bad boy. Wait, it's a hot air balloon. Let's crash it. Let's crash it into a hot air balloon. I just want to see what the animation is like or what it's like when you crash. Um, it doesn't really take too much damage. It does need, like, a damage indicator, though. That would be really helpful. Because if you're in Battle Royale, then you could shoot it down. You can kind of hover to... I actually really like this. Adding helicopters is a really good idea, in my opinion. Nice work. Alrighty, let's check out this new map and see how we do. Boom! Yo, this is the, uh... This is the new backup. I didn't realize it was charged shot, actually, to be fair. I was expecting it not to be. Yeah, I'm going away from you guys. We got... This fires nukes, doesn't it, right? Let's put a nuke down there. Oh, not... No, I didn't want to fire it all the way down there. Fire, like... I think it's radiation? Fire some radiations. Radiation shots. And I got this too, which is... A disc thrower? Or what we can call it? Laser board. Yeah, this is going to be like a really good map for sniping. I see people really enjoying it. Let's go! Need to get off this planet. I'm so dead. <laughs> I'm so dead. I, I gotta get used to it. I gotta get used to it. If, I wish this had a scope, though. It would be an absolute monster if it had a scope. Boom! I think it's scary good. Boom! Peek. Boom! Dude, that thing is cracked. Fire a nuke inside of there. Fire these inside of there. So these are, this is like an advanced, you know the old disc thrower? This is like a, this is what this is. It's like an advanced version. A newer version. I haven't killed anybody with this yet though. But I'm trying. Oh, I nearly fell through the middle. All right, jetpack, take me up. He's going to have to jump at some point. Missed him. Missed him again. This is by far the better one. The better weapon. Come on. Oh, I nearly got him. Where's the rest of their team gone? This guy. Because like, everyone bounces everywhere, man. It's hard. It's hard to remember where people are at. Hello? Hello? Got a mini nuke for you? He's already dead. There's a guy behind me. Hello? No, we hit him. Did we hit him? We did. It wasn't full charge. This this backup is going to be so much fun to check out. Where? Is that my own radiation? Oh, didn't even see him. Alright, jetpack, take me up. I think I've literally got like one kill. Fire a nuke. Oh! Oh, I just killed myself? Am I falling off the map? Oh! Still don't know the boundaries of this map yet. Guy's invisible. No. I mean, I got five kills. <laughs> I'm not very good with touch anymore. So there we have it. Update is out. It's only a small update. I will say that. It's not major. It'll be interesting to see the new UI and battle pass changes in a couple of days. Have a great day and I'll see you next time. Goodbye.